One of the prominent figures in the history of the South Shore was William H. Ludlow, an original gentleman farmer who lived from 1821 to 1890. Renowned for his many achievements, Ludlow held various positions as a powerful elected official, speaker of the New York Assembly, a general in the armed forces, a Civil War hero, and a gentleman farmer on the South Shore. He was married to Francis Nichol, and together they had five children. However, this story focuses on his son, William Ludlow, who shared his father's name. William Ludlow, born in 1843 and passed away in 1901, had an intriguing life that even inspired a movie, Legends of the Fall, featuring Anthony Hopkins as William Ludlow, attempted to capture the essence of the man. Yet, it is important to note that while the movie may contain elements of his spirit and some truths, the reality of William Ludlow's life was far more consequential and substantial than the very fictional portrayal presented in the film. Here is some of the true story of William Ludlow. Born in Oakdale, New York, he grew up in the prosperous Ludlow Nichols families. Ludlow attended Burlington Academy in New Jersey before pursuing higher education at the University of the City of New York. His academic pursuits led him to West Point, where he graduated eighth in his class. During his time at West Point, there were tales of his friendship with George Custer, and they would cross paths again after the Civil War in the Dakotas. When the Civil War erupted, Ludlow joined the newly formed Army Corps of Engineers. His wartime career was exemplary, involving the construction of roads, bridges, and active participation in battles. He concluded his service by participating in George Sherman's march to Atlanta, marking the end of the war. Following the Civil War, Ludlow was sent out west as an officer in the Corps of Engineers. Rising to the rank of colonel, he played a crucial role in mapping western territories to assist in guiding the advancement of Custer's troops. However, a disagreement arose between Custer and Ludlow regarding the treatment of Native Americans by Custer, leading Ludlow to seek reassignment further west. It was during this time that he embarked on the mapping of Yellowstone, recognizing its beauty and advocating for its preservation as a national park under army protection. After his time in the Plains, Ludlow returned to Philadelphia and Washington, D.C., where he contributed to significant civil service construction projects aimed at improving water systems and sanitation. His career progressed, leading him to positions such as surveying the possible construction of the Nicaragua Canal, which was ultimately abandoned in favor of the Panama Canal, serving in London, and eventually participating in the Spanish-American War. Notably, Ludlow led one of the battles that led to the eventual surrender of the Spanish during this conflict.
General Ludlow was married in 1866 to Miss Genevieve Sprigg. They had one daughter. At the end of his long career, General Ludlow was part of a group tasked with setting up the Army War College and modernizing the U.S. Army. The Philippines-American War broke out. General Ludlow was on his way to join the fight when he was stricken with tuberculosis. He was sent home to recover. Sadly, he succumbed to his illness at just 58. His illustrious career encompassed numerous achievements, including his honorable and heroic service in the Civil War and the Spanish-American War. Often credited as one of the key figures behind the establishment of Yellowstone National Park, he dedicated himself to mapping the western regions of the country. Ludlow also played a pivotal role in developing sanitation and water systems in major cities nationwide and served as the military governor of Havana. His accomplishments are numerous and awe-inspiring, solidifying his status as one of the most accomplished and remarkable residents of not only the South Shore, but America. General William Ludlow, born in Oakdale, 1843, died in 1901.